on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but you can't be a hero. As yes, everything that happened as per canon still happens up to this point. One thing is, All Might leaves Izuku to his own devices. Was that a good idea? Well, let's th process this. Let's say yes. The bullying and everything, being told to take a swan dive, that happens. Izuku's self esteem is shot to high hell. Just like it would be in canon. But, just like before, All Might, the number one hero, the person he idolized the most, saying he can't do it without work, without power, he's pretty much saying. That breaks anything when it comes to I really can't be a hero. The number one hero himself. The most loved hero as far as he can tell. Said he couldn't do it. So. He's overcome with sadness. Until it finally starts to subside and turn to something else. <clears throat> More like rage. Something that he has that really felt, if only for a few moments, in the past. But when you think about it, if he were to get mad at all, he has. He has best mom Inko to really, you know, calm him down or make it like everything's gonna be all right. He doesn't see Inko anywhere, so all those feelings that just kept balling up kept rising as time progressed. It finally causes him to snap. In which, yes, then he starts to notice something. This dark aura just starts to envelop him. Him not really caring as he just allows more anger to flood and pretty much be released. And this is when the explosion happens. And he realizes, oh, there's another fight going on. But then he's, he, instead of being worried, he has a smile on his face. Not a smile like, wow, I can't wait to see it. More like, oh, let's see how this goes. I might be out to catch a body. As he's just thinking, hmm, something feels different here. Let's see how different. Him just walking to the edge as he just tips over. 
him planning on just sticking a hill or landing, but then he just starts floating just an inch before he hits the ground. <laughs> I can fly. Since he's just getting used to this, he's okay. Let me whew, level myself as he runs the rest of the way there. Which he notices he is also hella fast. Because he gets there like that. With no issues whatsoever. Then he sees us the sludge villain. Right now, though, yes, he's kind of turned. He, only his pupils can really be seen. They, they're still there. His hair started to subside to dark green instead of pure black. And everyone feels this ominous presence going from behind them. Even the Sludge Villain and All Might, the other heroes, Bakugo, they're wondering, wait, where is this coming from? And Zuko is stepping forward. Everyone just getting the hell out of his way. Even All Might is like, I thought he didn't have a quirk. Bakugo, he is scared. But he's also wondering, like, what the hell's going on? Yuzu looking right at him and the sludge villain. Let him go. And yes, the sludge villain remembers Yuzuku. He doesn't remember this version, definitely, but he knows, like, oh, come on, kid, I almost had you. But I didn't know you had such a powerful quirk. Tell you what. How about hit lunging at him, but Izuku just backhands him away. <laughs> Splattering part of him there. Bakugo seeing this, everyone looking at wait, what the hell? Uh, how did you? Let him go. Or else my next attack could kill both of you. Wait, what? You're joking, right? You're threatening to kill me and my hostage. I thought you were. I thought you were a middle school student. There's... As yeah, Izuku just has a little frown as it just slowly starts to curve into a sinister smile. Everyone seeing it and realizing, oh my god, this kid is serious. All my looking, he doesn't. Uh, what sh should I try to do something? C can I? I mean, yeah, there are tissues on him, but if I buff up, there's a chance someone will see me in this weakened state. I. So um, he's just like, no, no, you're bluffing. There's no way. I'm just getting up in Izuku's face. And Izuku's <laughs> fine. With a flick of the finger, the sludge villain is splattered all throughout the walls. Everyone looking at Bakugo, who's breathing all heavy. He's throwing up as much sludge as he can, but he's also looking at this completely malicious villainous version of his old childhood friend turns punching bag what happened to you is Zuku just walks off everyone just, wait what just happened the hero's about to stop him but Zuku just gives him a cold stare saying don't don't make me ruin your career They just let him go. Bakugo can't do a damn thing. But just watch. All Might, he feels scared. <laughs> because, yeah, he could do that too. Only thing is, he used a fist. Or well, just used a finger for the same result. That all my use to save him. So, 
How strong is this kid? And as you can imagine, Izuku is not turning back to normal. It's only when All Might stops him and tries to say, I guess I was wrong about you, Izuku just walks by him. L listen, uh, I know what I said could have been put differently. I understand that you're mad. And Do you really want to see mad? Uh, uh, what? Listen. Just leave me alone. There's no need for you to try to butter me up now. I've outgrown you. And who knows, I might be stronger than you are now. <laughs> what? No! Listen, kid, I... My name is Izuka Midoriya. That's all you need to know. Uh, young Midoriya. Yeah. I want you to remember my name. Because that's the name of the person who's going to take your number one spot. Not with the way you behave. <laughs> what? As then all my buffs up in front of Izuku. You can look at him up and down and was like, are you serious? What? Are you going to fight me? If I have to. I need for you to understand that there's always going to be someone stronger. <laughs> then I'll crush them too. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to fight me, All Might. No, I don't. But I will if I have to. Very <laughs> well. Come on. Let's see what the number one hero can do. All my charging at Izuku. Remember, he's not 100%. He can't do as much as he can unless he goes uh, plus ultra. But one punch, there is a lot of flying cars. As then he looks and sees that Izuku has caught his fist. <laughs> How? My turn. And yes, All Might is sent flying as a tornado forms and it starts to rain. Motherfucker Don Chaser go ahead with one punch. So All Might knows that if he has any chance right now, he's going to take. He's time to strategize. He's going to have to get this kid off guard and one shot him if he even can. I mean, seriously, Izuku is showing no signs of fatigue or any signs of injury from that punch. Being able to control, just, just call it the rain, make a tornado, cute. All my is wondering, okay, so how am I going to do this? As then Bakugo shows up and he sees this and yells out to Izuku, like, what's happened to you? This being the opening all my needed as he flash steps and socks Izuku right in the back of the head, knocking him unconscious. His hair turned back into the dark green, just not as dark as it was before. Then all my thanks Bakugo and tells him just to go home when Izuku wakes up he sees Skinny Might he sees Inko 
in tears as what happened to me I believe her quirk awakened that's what that was I see no other type of explanation hmm. but I don't know what I the slut villain dead Are you saying I killed him? Yes, you did. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't mean to. It was just, I understand. But we can't ignore that you actually killed someone. And, I'm sorry to say this. But you are. See, it go just teared up and everything. You're under arrest for murder. And yeah, the shock on Izuka's face. Not only the hero who's been deemed the best arresting him. But it's for something like murder. And Inko, she knows, like, this isn't right. I mean, he would never. Him just showing the footage of people recording on their phones. It's on the internet and everything. So people saw what he did. He's going viral. Inko... She tries her best to negotiate, like, no, this isn't my son. He will never do something like this. You know, being the overprotective mother. But Izuku, knowing he did this, he was conscious. He just can't understand why he would do it. Is he's taken away? And he's processed. Bago. He's been thinking a lot. Ever since that. It's not really just the fact that. Izuku ha has a quirk. Or. Heck he saved him. Or anything like that. No no no. It's the feeling he got. When Izuku technically saved him. The pure malice that was present. It was like he didn't care if he actually saved Bakugo or not. If anything, what he did a sludge mill was just a rematch of their first encounter. And hearing that the celebrity died just shows like oh my god this is, is, is I can't believe it what happened how, how did it get to this point Miski goes into his room and w wondering what's wrong and though yes she knows she doesn't know everything Bakugo did. So, <laughs> it's pretty much this whole thing. Especially when his friends show up and start freaking out. Thinking, oh my god, is he going to come after us after all the shit we pulled? All the bullying, teasing. Heck, you telling him to take us one night. <laughs> what? Not knowing Miski was just listening. You did what? Uh, uh, oh my. G yeah, she calls out their parents. And Inko. So, <laughs> let's just say those boys got a lot of explaining to do. To the point where as soon as they realize 
everything Yuzuku pretty much kept under wraps because he didn't want them to get in trouble. He still saw Bakugo as a friend, potential friend, if not rival. So Inko, upon seeing this, hearing what's been going on, but she, that she's been completely oblivious to, she breaks down crying even more, almost causing a flood. For calling herself a failure as a mother, so, saying she doesn't even deserve the title of best mom anymore, if at all. If she could even see what was happening to her own son like this. Misuki, she is hella disappointed in Kasuki. Really considering how much he says he's going to be the number one hero. He's going to beat All Might. Hmm. Well. Looks like Mizuku has a head start when it comes to that now, doesn't it? Yeah. The boys? Grounded does not even begin to cover the amount of punishment that they receive after learning of how they treated someone just because they didn't have a quirk and wanted to be a hero. One thing Miski does is tell Bogo to apologize. And ugh, one thing led to another, she's threatening to pretty much say you are not allowed to attend UA. Yeah. It's gotten that serious. Now let's get to the jailhouse, shall we? Izuku, he's alone in the interrogation room trying to pretty much piece together everything. He knows what he did, but he just doesn't understand why he felt like that was the necessary thing to do. Like, why would he do such a thing? I mean, heck, if he's able to backhand the guy easily, he could have easily gotten Baku go out. If he learned how to fly, uh, he didn't have to walk on to the scene. He could just burst in there like an awesomenicity of a hero. We're a perfect hero landing. But no, he wanted to walk towards this large villain. He wanted to walk away so people can really get the just and just, you could say, feel the intensity emanating from around him. <sighs> okay. I... I'm sorry, but they... They want you to... What? They want to send you to Tartarus. What? I... Uh, but all my... I... As yes, is, Izuku starts to look down and starts crying. Not a waterfall of tears, but slight... Slight, just ever so slightly tears that start to trickle. As then this area just starts to form again. His hair starts standing up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, so please. Go on, go. I might need some help over here. Type of uh, reaction. As Aizawa shows up, him trying to use his quirk, this... It's when pretty much Izuku just uh, calms down. As he realizes, yeah, I understand. I thought I didn't have to use his quirk. I mean, could have, but no. Izuku found a way to technically calm himself down the only thing is, is no one really wants to risk it so as he's getting interrogated trying to get around his mindset and everything what he's saying is pretty much like I just snapped 
after so long. That's the basis of what he's saying. After everything he's been through, people telling him he couldn't be a hero, his old friends turning against him, bullying him, telling him to ax himself. It's when All Might hears like the final nail on the coffin was what he said. Now that was his breaking point. And yeah, All Might, he feels as you would expect. He feels shitty as hell. He could have just lied, but he didn't. He he had to be that honest. He's like he he could have said that uh, if you could build up your strength or anything, if you could actually uh, find another way to help and uh, hero gear, all this. No, he said sorry, you can't be a hero. Of all the ways, he could have said that. Less harsh. Brutally on his ways. Hell, he, he could have even said, I don't know. Might as well try. Train yourself. Do something. He's like, well, what, what else can you. Do you have any special talents that aren't a quirk? <laughs> so, yeah. Everyone looks at all my. Seeing how he. Fit, like, oh my god, I did this? I caused this to happen? And yeah, this is hurting all my, as you would expect. But when it comes to Aizawa, he was skeptical, possibly thinking that Izuku was already gonna be a huge ass problem. I mean, <laughs> he's sure as hell proven so to begin with, but. Hearing his whole story, his origin, his backstory, and all that, huh? No, they say it takes one bad day, but you, you pretty much had a pretty bad life, despite having a mother as you did. She could only do so much. Uh, yeah, they record the whole conversation, the, the whole interrogation, and they're hoping for a lighter sentence or whatnot. So they go to the public with the recording and everything, just trying to, like, come on, sympathize with this kid. He's not had it. As easy as you would expect, or whatnot, with a world full of heroes and villains, he could have easily just been a, a damn villain or hated heroes or just admired us from afar. But he wanted to be a hero, he's just not had the best support or enough of it. As everyone they try, they start praising Inko as a kind of. Uh, not complete best mom, but at least enough to say she kept him from unlocking this way earlier than it could have been. And you're starting to look at All Might a little bit sideways, considering that he was the driving force that woke Izuku up into this. All Might is really considering, oh my god, I, I need to really consider how much weight my words carry to the masses. So he proposes something. He won't go to Tartarus. He goes to UA. Class 1A. Where Aizawa's going to be his teacher. And so am I. And now saying that, yeah, I'm going to be a teacher at UA, damn it. I'm going to keep an eye on this boy to make sure he becomes a hero and then not a villain. People are skeptical. Like I said, that people had their phones out recording how malicious and powerful Izuku was. They didn't see him go up against All Might in that technical mock battle, but they're worried 
as a sheer man, like, okay, we he's the number one hero. He's, well, you can tell he's the strongest here. <sighs> okay. This, this could go, this could go one or two ways, couldn't it? Well, let's hope it goes the right way. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. But this is pretty much went off for of one Shigaraki. And you're damn right when it comes to the doctor. So, what do you think about him? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my You fool You are such an idiot How can you be so oblivious to, to how much you matter to the people especially the young kids I mean you pretty much told that kid he couldn't be a hero, but now they're gonna be watching him through a microscope, waiting for him to fuck up. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. Uh, I say we monitor this kid. See. How much he cares about certain people. Find out his routine and all of that. Because, who knows? It might come in handy just to see him snap again. But this time, I want to make it more of a bloody massacre. <laughs> uh. As yes, when it comes to the whole 10 months training for Izuku, it's mainly him exercising, building up his muscles and whatnot. He doesn't really use his darker form because, hell, he doesn't really have much control over his emotions. He knows what happens if he gets too angry, he doesn't know... Oh, if he could be stopped because it took All Might knocking him out and taking him completely by surprise just to make sure that, yeah, I don't want you to end up being a killer. So, the training... They're mainly focused on him building up strength. And since he's just going to your way, he doesn't have to take the interest in Sam. Bakugo was able to convince Mitsuki to still allow him to go your way if he passed. The only thing is, he gets a lot of sideways glances from people. Let's do his friends in the, the class mates of Izuku and Bakugo. Even the teacher, because these are motherfucker, you you both be molding your minds, not not just bandwagoning on a jerk like Kashi Bakugo. Come on. You had no right to be an educator. We why aren't you fire? Yeah. This is pretty much what people are seeing them. Some of them are just like, why is he here? Why is Kaski Bakugo here? What? Should he be in Taurus? Should he be in juvenile detention or just normal high school where he, he can bully people? As, yeah, Bakugo, he, he doesn't like it, but. Can you blame them? He, he, he kind of deserves it. He hell deserves it. The flack he's getting. It's at the end of the whole entrance exam where he doesn't really have much of a smile when it's done. Though he is proud of himself for 
very confident in him passing. Uh, no one really wants to congratulate him or anything. It's pretty much as you would think it would be, considering people know how he he treated someone just because he was quirkless. It's like seriously, is he only going to save quirk people? Like, what's, what the hell is going on with his this biasness? Hmm. Yes. And don't forget, Izuku and All Might's tentacle fight. Bongo saw that. So he actually scores higher over the sheer amount of training and thought he's been putting to his quirk. Because if Izuku does go off the deep end, or they do end up having to fight for the whole honor of being the number one hero he is not willing just to step aside and let Izuku have it he still has a drive to be the number one one thing is he has to try even harder considering how strong Izuku already is so I was determined more than ever no doubt but when it comes to the first day of UA, Izuku does have All Might be his escort to and from school. Because people are still scared as all hell when it comes to him. Though they do realize, like, okay, so yeah, you, you've had a little bit rougher. He still embodies fear he he emulates something that scares people to the point where yeah we feel for you but we also don't want to catch you on your bad side we would rather uh, not uh, be in the crossfire of your rage of the point but when you really think about it. Izuku isn't a bad guy. No, not at all. He's just... Sadly... Not in the best of places. <laughs> no, not... Not even close. When he gets between those doors, everyone's looking at him. Just like, oh my god, it's him. He's gonna destroy us all. He's just waiting for his chance. He's like you're trying to be nice, trying to wave, but then he's like, ah, we don't want you to splatter us, please don't. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what you would do if you know how strong someone is. Like, say John Cena or The Rock show up. And they say they won't give you a high five for all their strength. You want to, but you know, if you ain't strong enough to take that, you might end up with something broken. So you probably go for a handshake. Maybe less pain, but still, you, you can still say, yeah, I will never wash his hand again, depending on how to your fan you are <sighs> so this is my new classroom opening that door since Oraka wasn't saved by Izuku and whatnot they don't know each other at all the people only know him from the Southern attack and uh, <laughs> The murder and the trials and you know, the press conference. So you can just imagine people just looking at him terribly. Just <sighs> please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. It's just an air that just keeps yelling that. Yeah, he's a good fear. Rightfully so. 
Only thing is, people who aren't really afraid of him are pretty much Kirishima, Mina, Shoto, because, you know, yeah, all things considered. <laughs> Froppy, uh, yeah. Probably hasn't had a, a easy time when it comes to life either. And that's do something she can't control at all. So, yeah, these are actually the ones who are able to actually approach him. And if you add Momo to that, considering that she's, though she is, you know, someone you would just consider a typical rich girl, she does feel more or less like the mom of the classroom, or at least the older sibling that wants to make sure everyone's all right. It's when Ida shows up and starts staring down Izuku when things get a little tense, considering he's like, I can't believe he allowed you in the school with a power as dark as yours. He's just taking a back by this. As you would, would think, like, what? I saw what you did. We all saw what you did. Mina just jumping to his defense. Will is curious. She was like, dude, don't, did you hear what happened to him? As Yeah, yeah, I heard. But that is no excuse for blindly murdering someone. <laughs> Wait. Those engines. Yeah, yeah, stop staring. What, what of them? Are you Ingenium's brother? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, why? Izuku's eyes light up. Do you think I can meet him? Wait, why? I want his autograph. Uh, what? As Izuku just lets it be known, like, I'm kind of a fanboy. Them realizing, oh my god, what the hell. This is nothing like the person in the Sludgeville incident. He's, he's a cinnamon roll, isn't he? And then they get an actual good look at him and it's like, oh wait, his, his hair is different. He's not menacing at all. If anything, he's more, he has more like a, an air around him. It's like, you can trust me somewhat. Like, I am no danger to you at all. It's an impression that this Izuku just spreads. As yet, Ida's confused. Momo, Kirishima, Froppy. Mina, they're like, wait, what the hell? What's what's going on here? <laughs> it's fine if uh, you say no. I I just thought I might well ask at least once. Uh, uh, uh everyone get into your seats. <clears throat> right, um, yeah, you too, young Midoriya, yes sir, oh man, seriously, what, <sighs> I can't believe you put him in my class just so I can keep an eye on him, where's All Might, as yes, All Might is watching from a distance, especially considering he's like, we have to keep this boy calm until he can actually gain control over this power of his. Alright, quirk out picture test. Let's do it. You, Yamadoria, are exempt from it because we can't risk you getting angry. But I can try then. No. 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 Uh uh. We, we are not risking you going berserk. 
But what if... Please? Tell you what. If All Might can stop hiding in the bushes... Uh, I am here? No, no, stop hiding. You are... If anything, we would like to be put at ease knowing that you're here just in case we do need you. But usually the animal is a prize for dealing with them. Well, you better go out of it. Uh, if you were a better teacher, maybe you... He wouldn't even need you to keep him in check. Because, yeah, everyone whispers, like, knowing that, oh, wait, that's right. All my Mr. Aizawa had to be near him just to keep him from going completely batshit crazy. Or at least murderous. As Izuku knows how this looks, but he's... Can I do the ball throw? Fine. He surprises everyone except Oraka. Though he probably could have gotten a fanny, he decided to no. He didn't put nearly enough power, just enough to pretty much make everyone else look like weaklings. As he excels in everything else, he slowly started to draw more of his power. Just not so much that people actually start to fear him. They feel the terrifying presence, but it's not as erratic as they would have thought before. Bongo, though he does feel envious considering... He's also a, I can't believe how strong he is. He's being trained by heroes. He's <sighs> pretty soon I won't be relevant anymore. Now, when it comes to the locker room scene, though it still happens, Izuku is pretty much like, please don't do this. Uh, the girls will hate you forever. Not if they don't find out. They will. Oh, come on! So, think about it. This poster is there. On the other side of the wall is our poster covering the whole... Wait, what? There's a chance that the girls already noticed the hole and are ready to retaliate if they need to. Huh. I, I... I never really thought about it like that. Yeah. I... Huh. Okay. Fine. I guess... I, um... Uh, I won't, uh... try to peep at the girls. Thank you for doing the right thing. No, I'm just uh, trying to make sure my eyes stay intact. And that's how that ends. When it comes to heroes versus villains, the matches are the same. Only thing is, you know, she's kind of like, oh my god, I'm with the person who... <laughs> you, you caused some of the bullshit that he went through. Why do I got be... This guy, right here, can I put you in a teammate? This guy's gonna get me killed. What the, do you even know me? Oh, I feel like I do. We all feel like we know you. We're still surprised he let you in this school. Uh, what the hell? Why are you guys treat? Why are you guys treating me like, like a... Like a villain? I, I wonder why. Seriously, if anyone should be treated like a villain, it should be him. Just gesturing towards Yuzuku. Everyone, we see his point. 
But you gotta realize, <laughs> you caused him to go th through all of that. You, you are one of the main focus points of his anger. If anything, it's not just for my safety, but for yours. You don't want to go up against him. No, I don't. I, I'm, I can't beat him. That, I'm certain I can't. Well, look, Lee, all we have to do is stall them. As, yes, they try to come up with a plan. One thing's for sure, destroying the stairs, making sure they can't get anywhere. Unbeknownst um, to them, thanks to his super strength and him starting to learn how to fly a lot better, uh, he just destroys floor, ceiling, floor, ceiling, until they reach the bottom. They win, and there was no need to be worried. All Might even having a sigh of relief when it comes to that. But Bargo, his ego is very much wounded. First, yeah, he got saved by Izuku, someone who he looked down upon. He's scared of Izuku. He saw Izuku fight, well, technically fight, the number one hero. Someone known for his overall overwhelming power. And pretty much a tie. Technically, if it wasn't for Bongo, it's distracting Izuku for that split second. Who knows how much longer that fight could have carried on. So, Bako being the way he is, you can just imagine how he would feel after everything that's happened. He feels in, like, seriously, I know I didn't, I didn't want to really hurt him like that, I didn't, I yeah, I could have treated him better than how I did. Uh, just a flurry of emotions, thoughts, just crowding the inner workings and in mind of Kotsky. Him trying to think, oh, I could have done this so much better. I could have just tried to give him another dream. I could have trained with him to a point where I should have been a better friend. Is yeah, that's how that whole song and dance goes. And since Izuku is getting better at controlling his darker power. He's always just wondering, okay, what else could I possibly do with this? He knows he's strong, he knows he's fast, he can fly, but is that it? What if I could channel it? Him trying to focus. Him summoning a small amount of this darkness as it swirls in to a sphere then the triangle a square cube and pretty much using his imagination to make whatever he sees what he can think of him actually getting more and more excited over this all you do is get a little more angry and yeah So, yeah, controlling my anger is pretty good. Nice. But he doesn't want to kill again. 
not even for a last resort. He hates the thought that he even killed someone to begin with. He hopes that he doesn't have to kill ever again, but for that, he's going to have to get stronger. How strong? He has no idea. Though, yeah, he told all my the heck he'll just crush anyone who opposes him if he needed to, but that was all that power talking. Could he do that if he wanted to? Maybe. Was he ever going to get really, really get a chance? Who knows? Only time will tell, is all I can say. Because now, it is time for the U.S. fucking J. Izu already feels ominous presence just starting to fill the room as, as soon as it starts to feel like Danger is everywhere. He tells everyone. Them thinking he's just trying to scare them or anything. But Aizawa, he's... You know, if he's worried, maybe we should be more careful. So they meet 13. But still, the villains arrive. And they pop out everywhere. Showing that, yeah, I was right. As they do get separated. Froppy and Mineta on the boat with Izuku. The only thing is he is flying them out of the situation. As well as thanks to Mineta's sticky balls. And Izuku's strength. Yeah. Amazingly awesome whirlpool. Mixed in with a sticky trap. Can't believe I said that. When it comes to Shigaraki, he almost disintegrates Sue, but it's not Aizawa that stops him. It's Izuku taking the attack. He sacrifices himself to a point where they see him decay. Izuku just breaks Shigaraki's arm. And it starts to transform. His hair gets darker. He starts to grow fangs. As he has a smile on his face once again. And. What are you doing here? Huh? Why are you trying to pretend to be something you're not? Uh. What are you talking about? Come on, do you really think you can be a hero? Sure, sure, people are <laughs> willing to allow you to go to this school, but do you really think they're going to accept you? You're a murderer. Every day, you're going to have to be on your best behavior. Because you know what? People are going to. No. Love seeing you fall. They're going to be waiting for you to screw up. Just trip. Just so you can start all over again. And give them more entertainment. More reasons to be afraid. More incentives. To not like you. Think about it. <sighs> All Might. He's the number one hero. The best of the best. Right? What if I told you he was weak? That if you want to, you could kill him yourself. Hell, we probably won't even need the snow moon. If you were on our side. 
Come on. Think about it. Don't you really want to let loose? See how strong you really are? I mean, yes, you could probably defeat all of us. Even defeat my creation. But, mm, is that really what you want to do? I mean, is it really? Sure, you can keep pretending to be a hero, but at the end of the day, people won't see you as a villain, a murderer, because that's what you are. Is yeah, this is pretty much Izuku starting to have an internal conflict with himself. He he likes the feel of this power. He knows it is dark and malicious, villainous. But he'd been trying to make it less deadly. But how strong could he really be? If he actually gave into it.